Hi YouTube, I'm sure everyone has seen the recent debate raging over Anthony Riley's recent claim that Ireland can be seen from England. Watching this play out on the debate channel and participating in the debate at times has been a real eye-opener, even for someone with my experience at this. I believe we have seen deliberate deception, sloppy and at times non-existent research, flawed logic and absurd conclusions. It all starts with this video on Anthony's Sleeping Warrior channel. Flat Earth Ireland from England? Explain this with evidence then. In this video, Anthony shows how he shoots footage from here at the seaside village of St Bees in Cumbria, across the Irish Sea to the Isle of Man to the left and what he claims is Ireland to the right. He includes various supposed facts about his observations, including this one. Notice the wording he has used here, according to Google Earth, it's around 35 feet tall. He does this again in a later hangout with Miles Davis. 34 feet, I believe. You can double check it if you want. I, I'm not I'm not entirely convinced by your 34 feet, actually. I, I think it was uh, rather higher than that. Well, that's what it says on Google, so it's not my claim. So we see right from the start, Anthony is telling us his elevation is 35 feet, but at the same time he feels the need to make a point of disassociating himself from this claim. He goes on to shoot this out of focus pan shot of the horizon, where eventually we see the land appear to end. Anthony asserts this is the end of the northern tip of the Isle of Man, and then shows us what he believes to be extra land further to the right. He then draws some lines to show his bearing and asserts the extra land is actually the coast of Ireland, 96 miles from his observation point. Finally, he makes some stuff up about liquid nitrogen in yet another attempt to claim there is no such thing as refraction. A consequence of all this, of course, is that the Earth must be flat. A couple of other things to note from the hangout with Miles. Well, that's what it says on Google, so it's not my claim. So our top truth-seeking investigator here apparently doesn't know what his elevation is and makes no claim to it. What was the tide at that time? It was low. I don't know the tide. Another thing he didn't bother to take note of? Here he tries to make his elevation even lower, claiming 9 metres or 29 feet. It's 9 or 10. <clears throat> to 11 metres. You, it's you, 9 you or said... 10 miles. You see, you're trying to, you're now trying to, to, uh, s to split hairs over a few meters no. because what you want to do, what you want to do, is be able to claim that it, it's impossible according to the Metabunk. No, now, we, what I'm we just don't, seeing how accurate it, what, you're being. I'm seeing me, how accurate you're what, being. So Anthony, who doesn't know the elevation, doesn't know the tide level recorded no times and no temperature readings and shot out of focus footage is now checking Miles's accuracy. Eventually, Anthony rage quits when he accuses Miles of cherry picking because he suggested the land visible at this distance was going to be the land with the highest elevation. Apparently, Anthony's argument requires that we ignore the highest land. So have you cherry so, picked the highest possible peak? Of No, it's not a case of cherry picking. You have. The, the, the only peaks that you would be expected to see in that area would be the highest ones. Don't bother, Miles. You're full of shit. You're full of shit. You're lying. You're trying to distort Actually, the truth to suit your premise. You're full of shit, dude. I am not distorting enjoy your, the enjoy truth. Enjoy your echo chamber. It you had your chance. The truth. You're full of shit. Stop calling me a liar. Is Stop the truth. misrepresenting data. Stop I have not brick. called you a liar Ladies once in this hangout. Time. Okay. Are, are you leaving, Anthony? Have you gone? The argument resumes a couple of weeks later in Debate 76 on Nathan Oakley's channel. Okay. Anyway, we've been joined Anthony by Anthony Riley. How are you doing, Sleeping Warrior? Good to have you here. Just thought I'd have to step in and correct this garbage that's coming out of um, thingy Miles' mouth. I have never once collected evidence of the curvature. I have Every video. Where's, of the, where's the bottle of, bottle of Blackpool Tower? Why, why couldn't you see Ireland from some bees? Uh, I could, Miles. You're the one that dishonestly ignored and interpreted the evidence to suit your premise. Anthony talks a lot about interpretation, 
Let's see how he remembers and interprets the exchange that we just saw. No, you were corrected, Miles. You simply would not accept it, so I left your discussion. <laughs> you ran away because you had nothing. No, because you were being Absolutely dishonest, nothing. Miles. You were being dishonest. Do you want to go back and look at it? Absolutely, let's do it. Play it now. And we will, quote, expose your dishonesty. As always with Anthony, all disagreements can only be the result of his opponent's dishonesty. We've seen this time and time again. All discussions with Anthony require he slanders his opponents with a barrage of ad hominem attacks aimed at their integrity. But in this case we will see this accusation is also part of Anthony's greater overall strategy. Um, the point of this now isn't necessarily to discuss the content of the video, it's to discuss um, the um, accuracy and the validity and the honesty that Miles has in interpreting this evidence, okay? So that's the focus that we're going to look at. So our valiant truth seeker, who has supposedly gathered evidence which reveals the biggest lie humanity has ever known, doesn't really care about delivering this information to the audience right now. No? The important thing is that he demonstrates a single individual is being dishonest. Obviously, Anthony is fully aware that his elevation was far greater than the 30 feet or so shown in Google Earth. This is why he is using the Google Earth elevation, but at the same time disassociating himself from it. If people take him at his word, then the visible parts of the Isle of Man are at too low of an elevation, and any explanation must then include significant refraction. Anthony then claims this is fudging the figures to suit the evidence and accuses his opponent of dishonesty and cognitive dissonance, etc. Watch now as he tries to get Miles to just invent a figure. Remember, he isn't actually being generous here. He needs Miles to accept a figure which isn't based on any reasoning, so that he can throw this back at the debate later as part of his fudged figures to suit the evidence argument and he knows that whatever Miles comes up with, it will still be lower than his actual elevation. Right, so I was 34 miles away, and I was 34 feet off the floor. No, you um, weren't. You were much higher than that. Oh, t you tell me the figure that you're happy with. We don't know the height, because the tide was out, and we don't know exactly what the tidal conditions Miles, were at the make time. Some up. Make some up that you're happy with. We're plucking figures out of the sky, okay? But let's go for 60 feet. Let's just give it them, Nathan. They can have as whatever height that they want because the demonstration comes with the interpretation of the evidence against the maths, uh, not the maths, the geography of Google Earth. So yeah, we'll just enough. give them whatever height they want. Miles, what height would you like? What do you mean, what height would I like? Well, you've got it. To I, it's not. It's not. It's really not a question of what I like or don't like. It is because you make it. Question of want. so we'll give you whatever there. height you want. I want to get to the point where we can interpret your interpretation of the evidence and show how dishonest you are. So pick a height, Miles. So you were on a, 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 a low, very low hill that was about 35 feet above average sea level. You'll have had a tripod which will add another four feet to that. So we're up to nearly 40 feet. If we, and we have high, we have quite big tides in that area and it looked like it was pretty close to low tide. It, I don't know. So should we give it to 85? Would that be suitable for you? No, 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 no. Because what you're now doing is changing the geometry because you're well, adding because you're, only you're height to, to the it. opposite side. All right. Are we happy with 85 feet? Is that enough for you to um, go with your position? No, 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 you're not understanding the geometry, and this is half the problem. You just don't understand nope, I'm, simple I'm, geometry. I'm, I'm, I'm pandering to your desire to get this as high as possible. So I'm giving Miles whatever value he wants. I'm giving him whatever value he wants for the height. He can make it up as far as I'm concerned, because it doesn't explain the position. So the observer height was, uh, sorry, the distance in miles is 34. We're going to give him 85 feet when it was quoted as 34 or whatever. We're adding 50 feet there. For whatever science Miles wants. That's not that what I for. asked you to do. We're giving you whatever value you want, Miles, to make the point that you're being well, dishonest. Yes, and I've told you what you what, what to do, and you've ignored it repeatedly. I've given you 85. Would you like more? But that's not what I asked what for, because that changes the 90. geometry. We'll give you 90. That's okay? not, that changes the geometry. Go for 60 feet and add 24 feet to the height on the other side, or 26 feet Fine. to the height on the other side. Right, so 60 feet and we're allowed 20 feet to the... 24, 26 feet to the other side. All right. Now Nathan weighs in with an angry rant about the adjustment for low tide. 
Apparently this concept is too difficult for Nathan to grasp, although he insists he understands it. Sorry to interrupt, down, Anthony. Yeah. Can okay. I just, can, sorry, Anthony. Can I, just, can I just add something? We have yeah. mean sea level. It's not mean sea level because the tide was out. Right, but okay. This is okay. Oh, hold on, hold on. We've got. I've just looked it up in terms of how we get the land height, and they use mean sea level. If you want to find Correct. something that tells us that we literally adjust the height of the bloody land, then you're going to have to find yes. a reference for that, Miles. You're going to have to. No, I this don't. This is nonsense. It's simple geometry. No, 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 no. It's not simple geometry. The land geometry. masses are measured and written down and documented, and they are based on mean yes. sea level. If you can find a citation if that checks, says then, the week. Hold on, Miles. Don't interrupt look. me. If okay, you can find I know, a doc I know Miles, what you're don't saying, interrupt you're me. Not Miles, I'm trying to get this out whether you like it or not. We have a standard way okay, of measuring the height of this land. It is not done with an adjustment that you've come up with out, out of the top of your head. It's done using mean okay, sea level. If you want to say head. that we adjust it for this measurement, I'm going to need you to find a citation. Because I've done it in 20 seconds, Googled no, it, and not. found out how we get the height of this land. There's nowhere that you can find that there's an adjustment needing to be done. I'm not going to accept it. It's just nonsense. It is nonsense. Right. I've just told you why it's wrong. They get the height of the land with oh. a specific measure. And you're that's saying we need to adjust you, you as an individual are telling us to adjust that height. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I am explaining. That's exactly what I you're doing with an explanation. <laughs> I get that you've given us an explanation, Miles. But you need a citation to say where anybody else in history has physically changed the average measured height of a land mass to do this I measurement. I am not changing Never that in history. Height. I am fixing that height absolutely. What I am saying is... That no, you're not. You're saying add... You've just told Anthony to add 30 feet to the height of that land mass, which is ridiculous. Yeah. I'm not I'm not doing that at all. Okay, so you're totally misunderstanding my point. Okay, sorry for misunderstanding. Please explain again, Miles. Maybe I've misunderstood. The land you. height remains constant. The sea level has dropped. Time. So we don't have to add any measurements on top of the land that we're looking at then. Your effective height above sea level for the curve calculator is different. So citation you needed. Need to Cite the citation. Even observer, my kids getting annoyed at you, Miles. Citation is required. You can't just assert that. As well. You need to find a citation. You can't just assert this nonsense here. All, it's just all, nonsense. All, all Miles is saying. All Miles is saying. I get the logic, that, Paul. I understand the logic. Like He's explained it three times to me. Standing on a ridge going over I the water. I get the logic, Paul. Uh, I've had it explained the three times. Constant, the, now find the, somewhere where someone level. else has applied this logic. The debate continues where Anthony shows us this. The land you this is where the that. Isle of Man no, stops. No. And that's not where the Isle of Man stops. Right. Let me show you. Look, this is what I actually said. The Isle of Man stops here. Now, I don't mean that literally. I mean it in the evidence, Miles. Oh. Oh. You don't mean it literally. You don't mean the Isle of Man stops there. So, you're agreeing that the Isle of Man continues beyond there. Make of that what you will. Let's cut to the chase. The point that I was trying to make is absolutely valid. If you're claiming to be able to see peaks in Ireland that are supposed to be hidden two kilometres below the curvature, then you should have no trouble seeing the entirety of the Isle of Man. Right yeah, down we have that band line. that layer of dirty air that stops us. Do you remember that stuff that, that, that um, we just don't see things that. out? So Anthony is claiming that he can see peaks in Ireland over 100 miles away, but he can't see the Isle of Man 34 miles away because it's hidden by a, quote, dirty layer of air, unquote. The dirty air is apparently also invisible. This is perhaps even too absurd for Anthony, and finally he seems to abandon the island claim and retreat to the claim that the Isle of Man is visible when it shouldn't be. At the, like, at the very least, you must accept that there is a possibility that what you have seen there could just be the Isle of Man. Furthermore, and I more agree. importantly, there is a very simple way to find out. Miles? Go back, take a picture from a higher elevation and see what you see. Miles, I, I can't agree that it could be the Isle of Man, but the problem is it's too low light. This is around the end of the debate, but it won't be the end of Anthony's Island claim. 
Before we go any further, let's take a look at Anthony's claim of a 35 foot and at one point 29 foot observation elevation. He got this from Google Earth and in most places around the globe, Google uses SRTM elevation data, which comes from one source. Booster ignition and liftoff of Space Shuttle Endeavour on a 21st century mission placing Earth back on the map. A specially modified radar system that flew on board the Space Shuttle Endeavour during the 11-day STS-99 mission in February 2000. SRTM stands for Shuttle Radar Topography Mission. This data has a 90 meter horizontal resolution and a 16 meter vertical accuracy. So even if Anthony believed its source, it is nowhere near accurate enough for him to pinpoint the elevation of a particular spot. Take a look at where he is standing. Does this look like 35 feet from sea level to you? After a bit of googling, I found two maps of the area. One of them an Ordnance Survey map, and the other based on a slightly older Ordnance Survey map, which gives elevation data in feet. These maps show us that Antony's elevation is over 75 feet, and we need to add another 25 feet to this to account for the tripod and the low tide, giving him an effective elevation of at least 100 feet. Sadly, this is just the start of his intellectual dishonesty. Here is the final exchange from the Hangout. Uh, Miles, I have no problem going back and doing it for you, or for us, or for the greater good. But what happens if I come back and I see better refraction and I can see the beach? What would your position be then? My position would be that you've picked a day where the refraction allows you to see that. If I went to, the, if I went back and redid the observation and I was specifically looking for that part there because it's quite prominent, if I was to capture that... How would you feel if, given that the height is only 200 and just over 200 feet, if I could capture that in some depth, would that be enough for you to pers be persuasive that the Earth might not be a ball? Later that day, Anthony uploads a new video where he repeats the shot of the first and makes the claims we see here in the opening text. Take a look at these two still frames taken from the two videos. In the second video, we are obviously looking at somewhat more of the beach than in the first. In the first video, all of the beach is wet. In the second, this wet part covers only half of the beach. We can also see the headland on the right of each picture is obviously further away in the second video. And what looks like some sort of drilling platform in the first image is right on the horizon and in the second, slightly below the horizon. Clearly, Anthony's claim that these videos were taken from the same spot is untrue. This is so obvious, it's even spotted by Anthony's bumbling sidekick, Ranty, at the start of Debate 77. Listen to them try and get their story straight. So with that, I'll pass you over to Ranty. Um, stop my screen shirt. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, I know you've had this video for a while now. Um... Basically, this is the same location, except you went perhaps another 10 or 12 feet higher. As you can see, there's the, the cove in the corner. Well, no, it was actually a little bit It was later on in the day because the weather conditions got better. So I went back. So it wasn't higher. It was later. And I wonder why Ranty felt the need to open by telling us he knows Anthony has had this video for a while. To summarise, we know that the elevation Anthony is using is incorrect and that he was at least very suspicious of this himself. We also know that the second video was taken from a higher elevation and Anthony has lied about this. In short, his evidence has been faked. Forgive me for indulging in a little conspiracy theorising of my own, but this is what I think happened. Anthony makes his first observation and estimates his elevation to be about 75 feet. When he gets home and checks Google Earth, he realises he's struck lucky and managed to pick a spot where the Google Earth data is a long way adrift of reality. He thinks, finally, he can't lose this one, as he can see a lot more of the Isle of Man than the curve calculator indicates, and he has Google Earth not just to back him up, but to make the elevation claim on his behalf, and so he uploads his first video. This video is quickly challenged by Miles, who still chalks the observation down to refraction even though he thinks Anthony is at a much lower elevation than he really is. Annoyed by the reasoning offered in the first debate, 
Anthony nips back to St B's that afternoon and shoots the second video, this time from the top of the hill at over 100 feet, but still claims it was taken from 35 feet. The point of this to demonstrate that his opponents are too dogmatic and will invoke refraction whatever observation he makes. Anthony has of course made a number of fundamental errors here, the main one being a concept I have tried to explain to him many times. Unlike flat earthers, what we know about the world is not dependent upon us deploying various strategies to remain willfully ignorant of our reality. Speaking personally, I do not dismiss the stars as just lights in the sky that can't tell us about what we're standing on. I know the phrase no measurable curvature anywhere is made up bullshit. I do not reject all of space science including its photography as fakery. I have an overwhelming body of evidence to draw upon that tells me I live on a globe. So when some disreputable chancer on the internet presents something which suggests otherwise, the very last conclusion I am likely to draw is that the earth is flat. I will always seek out a conventional explanation for what is being observed. In this case, this took a while because myself and others made the mistake of taking Antony at his word. In a couple of days I will upload part 2 where we see Antony's continued dishonesty and take a look at the actions of his accomplices in this deception, Ranty, Chris Monk and most notably Nathan Oakley, who has been spewing a willfully ignorant and arrogant tirade at anyone who dares to challenge Antony's so-called evidence. Thanks for watching, please rate, comment and subscribe.